Okay. There are over 7 billion people around the world. NIH.gov says of the 7 billion people, approximately 2 million 500,000 have something called multiple sclerosis. It's usually known as MS. The purpose of my essay is to share with you a little more about a disease that really no one knows about until someone is diagnosed with it in their blood. Well, if you're anything like me, I had absolutely no idea what the word meant until about seven years ago when my father was diagnosed at, with it at 34 years old. He was diagnosed with the first stage, RRMS, or relapsing remitting multiple sclerosis. This caused me to do an excessive amount of research throughout my entire high school career. MS is a type of disease that can affect absolutely anyone at any time and can be practically untraceable. First, I'll explain what multiple sclerosis is and why it is so hard to find. Second, I'll explain the symptoms caused by it. Thirdly, I'll explain the four different stages. Relapsing remitting, secondary progressive, primary progressive, and progressive relapsing. So, let's begin. To go all medical on you, when you hear a doctor talking and you hear the term disimmediating sclerosis, they mean multiple sclerosis. MayoClinic.org explains that this is a disease that attacks the central nervous system. So it can start in your back, in your, as in in your spine, it can start in your head, it can start anywhere. Since it attacking the central nervous system, it will kill every single cell until there is cell slash nerve until there is none left. Your nerves are kind of like hermit crabs in a way. A hermit crab needs a shell to protect itself from the weather around it and all the predators. If it loses its shell or not grows its shell, it'll die. This is kind of the same as your nerves. Although your nerves don't really outgrow its protective shell, if the MS eats and destroys the protective layer or shell around your nerve, it'll end up dying. Multiple sclerosis is a very difficult disease to diagnose because there is not one test that can tell every single one. Thanks to the MRI, it has become easier to find, but this is because of the symptoms in case Thanks to the MRI, it has become easier to find, but this is if the symptoms in case are straight from the text. In some cases, like my father's, the case isn't very clear on what it is, leading to many different diagnoses. Speaking of the symptoms, here are, there are, symptoms are a main reason it isn't difficult to diagnose. MS, mostly because there are so many. If you remember, I told you earlier that MS attacks the central nervous system. This means it can go absolutely anywhere a nerve is throughout your entire body, which has nerves. It can start in your brain, it can start in your left, big, left foot, your big toe, anywhere. Some of the most common symptoms are pretty simple, but yet still a pain, literally and figuratively speaking. They include fatigue, numbness, tingling, dizziness, and vertigo, emotional instability, weakness in every muscle, difficulty walking, bowel and bladder issues, a lack of sexual desire. The list just goes on and on and on. This is what I mean by it is so hard to diagnose. Moving on to others that you won't see it as often, some people will have speech problems. This is only about 25 to 40% of those with MS, and it's often seen in the later stages of it. There are also swallowing problems, tremors, seizures, breathing problems, itching, headache, and hearing loss, which is only about 6%. My father, for example, experiences the headaches, the tremors, the hearing loss, although I'm pretty sure most of the time it's just selective, and breathing problems. Luckily, we haven't quite gotten to the swallowing problems because he really likes food. Last but not least, the four different stages or types of MS, the relapsing remitting, or RRMS, secondary progressive, also known as SPMS, primary progressive, BPMS, and the worst of them all, progressive relapsing, also known as PRMS. RRMS, or remitting relapsing multiple sclerosis, 
which was what my father was still first diagnosed with, is the most common of them all. It is where the symptoms, which are called attacks, worsen the neurological function. You will hear this attack called relapsing, flare-ups, or exacerbations. After one of these attacks, the symptoms will either partially or usually completely recover over a period of time, known as a remission. For example, a couple of months ago, my father woke up and he couldn't see out of his right eye at all. He ended up going to the ER, really freaked out to find out that he was 90 95% blind. His doctor put him on an extensive amount of treatment, also steroids, to help him with the problem. Although it was kind of painful, it ended up fixing and completely getting his eyesight back to where it was, even though he didn't have the best of eyesight. This is only about 85, well, mostly 85% of people are diagnosed with MS, which is the first stage. So, case one, the very light, like right here, those are considered lesions. That is the disease attacking the nerves and where the nerves have died, and the brain is slowly starting to swell. Secondary progressive multiple sclerosis, in short SPMS, gets its name because it's considered the second stage of MS. It is usually what most people diagnosed with will transition to when they have RRMS. It's basically the same thing as relapse remitting, only a progression is much more steadier and it may or may not have the remissions. This doesn't mean it actually moves quicker, it's just steady. Again, the white lesions are getting worse. Oh, that's sticking still. Wrong. Okay. Lesions are getting bigger, brain is swelling even more, and first picture right over there, you can see that it is attacking the spine. Now the third stage, the stage which we were just informed this week that my father has progressed to, PPMS also primary progressive. It is where the neurological function is steadily worsening from the beginning. With this one, there really aren't any improvements of distinct relapses. So let's say my father was PPMS instead of RRMS in the beginning. He more than likely would still be 100% blind in his right eye, and his left eye would more than likely be getting worse. And there would probably be no fixing it. Just stay where it was. According to the National MS Society.org, only 10% of those with MS are diagnosed at this level <coughs> at first. Okay, and then you can just see again the lesions are getting bigger, the brain swelling more and more. It's just, it's no good. Now for the worst of the worst, also the least common of the four, progressive relapsing PPMS. In this stage, there are absolutely no remissions, which means the pain stays and it never goes away. Your symptoms keep getting worse. Everything just does not get better. There's no time where you just get a break. More than often than not, you'll never have a recovery, which I just said. Here, stage four, it's everywhere. There's very, just right there, is about the only place that hasn't been attacked. All these pictures. And the brain is probably, say, about 50% bigger than stage one. In conclusion, multiple sclerosis is not a very known disease. And I believe there are more cases out there than we are aware of, just because of all the different symptoms and all the different ways it can be diagnosed. Since there are four different stages and each one are drastically different, it makes it even more difficult to figure out which and where they are. Now I'm not saying 
the next time you get a headache or a bad scratch or you get a little shaky drawing a straight line that you need to freak out, talk to your doctor about possibly having MS. I'm just making you aware of MS, the little and the little things that lead up to it.